Whoa! Guys, that was amazing. But what's more amazing, guys, is that we finally hit 250,000 subscribers. Now, I have a new challenge for you. Our brand new goal is 500,000 subscribers. So before this video gets started, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and don't forget to click that post notification bell for more videos and live streams. Now I gotta go guys, I'm late for my race, I'll see you in the video! Alright, Driving Empire has another update, but let's see how these brand new cars look. I'm kinda excited, but at the same time not. Let's go check it out. Welcome back guys, it is your boy T Stingray, and welcome back to another video guys. Today we are here in Driving Empire because they have a brand new update. I personally have not played Driving Empire in a while nor did i kind of want to make videos on it anymore just because uh they kind of changed the game a lot guys and i'm not talking about for the better i feel like it has gotten a little bit worse since borges left but you know what let's check out the new update maybe they did fix some stuff i don't want to be too you know straightforward with this update but be sure to smash that thumbs up button right now and subscribe for more guys and we know if we start liking driving empire more we'll definitely keep playing this Ooh, they got some cool cars in here i like this car right here is this the jaguar oh this is the new one right here let's go ahead and go in the new driving empire limited vehicles do they have anything good oh oh this one's already done i think we already bought it oh this is sold out okay that's fine i don't know which exact model this is but let's check out the newer vehicles i know we have some new ones in here like this jaguar uh singer ballista i like this this is like some hatchback like jaguar looking car this is cool i like it uh, 917 000. let's go ahead and buy it and then we also got this uh co 1994 colft 482 this is cool right here i kind of like how the way this one looks it kind of looks so old and um uh, but at the same time very very like stealthy almost just like a mclaren f1 maybe this is the mclaren f1 but this looks a little bit different than it is that we got the driving side on the left now or the right side instead of the left so that's pretty cool let's go ahead and buy for 1.5 million all right i already know also that they have a brand new audi r8 in here that i have not seen yet well, let's check it out. Let's see if we can find it in here. Oh, look at this, guys. We got the Audis right over here. And you can see that this is the old model right here. The Avanti uh, R10 or Avantismo R10 GT. So this is the uh, V10, uh, I'm guessing, Performance Plus in edition. Let me see. Let's see how this one looks. And this is the older model. And then you guys can see... <laughs> We have a 2017 model right over here. I'm guessing this is one of the older models too because it kind of looks a little uh, like polished, like way too polished and not too realistic. And then this one, guys, is the new 2020 Avanto R10. And you guys can see the huge difference. <laughs> the huge difference between these two right here, guys. Like, look at this compared to this. Like, bruh, what the heck, man? Like oh my gosh okay let's go from the back yo like look at this like wing and then the rear diffuser compared to this one what do you guys think let me know in the comments down below like this one goes 205 miles per hour this one goes 199 okay pretty accurate and then 3.6 acceleration the handling is 42 percent i think I, f I feel like that's a little underrated just because it's uh it's an all-wheel drive i feel like the the handling would be great with this one but look at the front guys just look at those eyes <laughs> let's explode them real quick look at that like oh my gosh what if we change it to the same color as we had the other one let's see boom you guys can see the aggressive stance of that compared to this and is it me or this car is a lot wider too than this one wow this kind of looks like almost an audi tt mixed with like a bugatti grill <laughs> and it kind of almost looks like an alfa romeo to me guys i'm not gonna lie to you this almost looks like an alfa romero uh and then you guys can see the side right over here they took out the signature uh you know offset or the contrasting colors right over here you guys can see it's all one now and they changed the vents too wow this is insane 
I can't believe they actually changed it. You know what? Let's go ahead and just buy it. I want to see how it is. I'm not even hating on Driving Empire, guys. They have n done nothing to me, but... This thing is actually wild, like, to the point that we don't have it. Oh, wait, we could just buy cars off of here. Is this the Ferrari? No way! This is not the Ferrari, is it? No way, is this a Lambo or a Ferrari? Kind of looks like they put an R8, a Lambo, and then a Ferrari front. What car is this? The Knight 9000? Okay, I think this is a car that they literally created by themselves. But you know what? I'm going to buy it regardless. Let's see here. We got the 2027 Beam 3. Wow, didn't know we were that far ahead. Oh, this is like the Audi like replica, I believe. Okay, now I see why it's 2027. 80,000, let's buy that. What else, what else is next? Ooh, the 2020 uh, BMW. This one looks really nice. See, this model right here is almost perfect. This one's really nice. I'm gonna keep buying cars right here to see which ones I don't have yet. <laughs> we got the 918 right here, the Malibu edition. I guess we can't buy this one. But a lot of these models right here, they're still pretty cool. What is this? Oh, a Falcon. Nice, I'll get that one for sure. They just have like cars laying around. Oh, what is this? A cabriolet? Is that a cabriolet? Oh, this is, yeah, it is. No, it's, oh, we already have that one though. Let's see. Well, let's see what other cars we can buy in the dealership, guys. We're literally buying the whole dealership right now. Roadster. Okay, we got the Roadster i8. This one almost looks perfect too. We have that one already. So let's see. What else do we have that we don't have yet? Is this a striker? I think we don't have a striker yet. Oh, there we go. Let's go ahead and buy the striker. That striker looks really good. And then we also got this Porsche right here. What is this right here? We got, um, yeah, I, we already have that one. Uh, what is this? A Maybach? I'm guessing this is like a Maybach right here. A Viper? We already have the Viper. So we're good with that. Wow, this is cool. How we can just like buy cars off the dealerships right here. This is actually really nice. Like, look, we can buy this. We don't even have... I thought we had that one. I guess we didn't. And then we have the RO. We also have... Oh, an another... What is this? Is this a uh, Vantage? And then we got the Striker right over here that we already have. This is actually really cool. I want to see what we just got. We just got a lot of new things. I know we got the Avantismo or the Audi R8. I want to see how the new one looks. <laughs> That still sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> the acceleration is really good on this car, though. It feels like an actual Audi R8 acceleration. The handling is super good. Wow. See, I see why they are doing all this, guys, is because it's copyright reasons. And I'm guessing they're trying to turn this game into one of the biggest, you know, car games out there. But I don't know, guys. I think they're just doing it to, uh, to save some money or not get copyrighted. But this is pretty nice. I mean, it's it looks really good. It drives really well. The braking kind of sucks a little bit. <laughs> but the looks in the front, man. Like, I wish they could have done something cooler. Do you guys agree? Like, if they're going to change up the Audi R8 look, if it's going to be a little bit different, I think they should have made it look a little cooler than this uh, bug eye looking car right here. I'm still surprised that they have other models in here that they haven't really hit. I mean, like the SEC Tuatara Striker, I feel like that one is, you know, I don't think they care. I don't think Tuatara even cares uh, if someone stole their model because they're still a small company, if that makes any sense. But I can't find it. Where is it? Where is it? It's got to be here somewhere, bro. All right, we got every single car that we just bought right here, too. Oh, my goodness. This one sounds nice. See, I like the way this one looks right here. It has a very cool interior, too. Look at that. And this one sounds really, really mean. It's slow, though, because, I mean, it's just a Jaguar, I believe. Kind of almost looks like the actual thing, too. Like, look at this car. I know they kind of changed the Jaguar look on this one a little bit, but it still looks nice. Like, even this one right here, the Aston Martin. I think they changed this one. Actually, no, this one is kind of still the same. Ooh, that sounds really nice, though. And then this one is the, the Knight 9000. What in the heck is this? Dude, <laughs> what? We got to do a review on this car. We have to. Because this is the most outrageous supercar i've ever seen in my life oh is this thing a drift machine too my boy i mean it's pretty long it's kind of slow too i thought it would be like a bullet let's see if it could drift though i mean it can power slide but not really a drift all right let's go on the next car we got the roadster right over here the i8 roadster this one is super super nice i like the way this one looks and then we also got the 1994 cough whoa this is cool whoa and look at the engine on that one that one looks like the amg engine from the 
Pagani. The interior is like super simple. I think this might be like an a overseas car. I'm not sure 100%. Like, I feel like this is a Japanese hypercar. Listen to that. Oh my gosh, yo, this thing is actually a bullet, bro. What? And now we're stuck. <laughs> this is fun. I actually look like this car. I like this one. All right, we got the Falcon right over here. I mean, some of the models are they're still pretty good. Ooh, this one's cool. I like this one right here. Like I said, it's I'm not hating on Driving Empire, but some of these models, they just look ridiculous. Like this one right here. This one is cool. This is actually pretty accurate in a way. This is like the old style Maybox right over here. The 2020 BMW. This is nice. And then last but not least, guys, we got the striker that we just bought. This is really, really cool. Oh my gosh, the lizard. That's so cool. And I think this is like literally one of the fastest cars. Oh, Jesus. I don't think this is the striker actually because I just see the wing go up. So this must be the regular SEC Tortara or some type of special edition. But you guys see that wing just went up so cool i like this car i don't know there's still a lot of cool cars in this game that i would probably go back and review but what do you guys think about the brand new models like the audi r8 do you guys agree with it also the lambo had a major change to it with uh you know a car that looks almost like the revuelto but what do you guys think leave it in the comments down below are you guys still you know playing driving empire or do you guys not like it anymore because of the cars i mean some of these cars they still look accurate but some of them they're just uh a little bit weird but thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did be sure to smash that thumbs up button subscribe if you guys haven't and i'll see you guys in another video peace out